Close your eyes and watch your breath. Be very particular about how the breath feels. In other words, pay particular attention to where you feel the breathing in the body. Don't let your preconceived notions about the breath get in the way of seeing breath energy in places you might not have expected it. And then be very particular about what kind of breathing you like. When the Buddha talks about equanimity, it's not a matter of just not reacting to anything or not having any preferences. You have your preferences. You know what's skillful and what's unskillful. You know that what is skillful should be developed and what is unskillful should not. So you have that desire based on that. But you'll run against things that are either distracting you from the task at hand or are things that you would like to see different but you can't make different. Those are the things you have to be equanimous about. Otherwise you lose your focus, and the task that you set for yourself doesn't get done. You hear some people say that we suffer because of our lack of equanimity. We are reactive to things. Well, reacting is not, is not the suffering, is not the cause of suffering. There are skillful ways to react and unskillful ways. The unskillful ones come from ignorance, so you're trying to bring more awareness to what you're doing. And you realize that you're not just sitting here reacting, you're actually taking a proactive part in shaping your experience. So when you come up with something in your experience that you don't like, you can't always blame it on things outside. Sometimes your deeper processes of fabrication are serving you something that seems to be ready-made, but you've done it poorly. This means you've got to keep looking back, back, back inside, because it's the ignorance inside that's the problem, when you don't see what you're doing. And when you don't see what you're doing, okay, then you're going to act and react and proact in all kinds of unskillful ways. So you have to have equanimity for the things that are not really your issues right now, things that will pull you away from the task at hand, and learn to be very alert to what you're actually doing and doing your best to do it right. That's how the path develops. But that there just sits there, undeveloped, can't take you anywhere. Because it's only when you develop the factors of the path that they deliver you to the destination. This is something you have to give rise to in yourself, so don't be equanimous about that. Have a very strong determination that this is what you want and focus your energies here, because this is where your efforts pay off.